Parents across the country today rushed to bookshops and uniform centers to buy school items ahead of next week's reopening date. At most stores, the last-minute rush was evident and demand drove up the prices, as the reporter Makori Ongechi found out. New Year's Eve in Nairobi. <laughs> Parents and their children fully occupied as they crowded bookshops and uniform centers ahead of schools reopening on Monday. A picture that cut across many towns in the country. Those visiting textbook centers evidently armed with a list of books required by their respective schools before their children are allowed in on Monday. And as a result of the scramble, some books already out of stock. Uh, I haven't managed to get everything, but I know they have everything because uh, the one in class five, like now you have to go to that counter and in form one, you have to do it here. <laughs> At many uniform shops in the city, the queues stretched as parents patiently waited to be served as stocks first ran out due to demand. Unfortunately, what I wanted, but the dresses was already the measure. So we're just waiting. While the government, through the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, has approved a list of books to be used in schools, publishers were keen to ensure that the approved books were on the shelves. Nisha kwamba tuko kule viwadani, hata huku tunatebea, kwa kisha kwamba kile kitabu abacho kina urizu, na kile abacho kina takikana na wazazi, Meanwhile, Education CS Professor George Magoha says the government remains focused in ensuring the 100% transition. We will actually target the parent, not even the child, so that the child, the, the parent makes sure that the child goes to school. The Teacher Service Commission also says it will train some 140,000 teachers from both public and private schools on the competency-based curriculum from Thursday. And just like other many shops where books and stationery are being sold, inside here it's a beehive of activities as parents and their children seek to capture the last moments of getting the books they want before schools reopen on Monday. Makori Ongechi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.